Hey everybody, let's take a look at an example and we'll use the theorems of Pappus Goldenus to do this. Um, what we've got here is a semicircle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that semicircle, it's a solid semicircle, and I'm going to rotate it around the x axis. Okay, I'm going to rotate it around the x axis. And the theorem says that the volume of revolution should equal 2 pi times the centroid of the semicircle. Right, so whatever the y position of the centroid of the semicircle is times the area of the semicircle. And so I'm going to take the semicircle and it's above the origin a distance h. The bottom of the semicircle is above the origin by a distance h. And the radius of the semicircle is r, little r. Okay, now if I look in the textbook, I'm going to find that y bar for a semicircle is equal to 4 times the radius over 3 pi. But that's assuming that this is the origin, right? So it's someplace up here, and this distance right in here is 4 times the radius over 3 pi. And so y bar, the real y bar in this system is h plus that. So really y bar is equal to h plus 4r over 3 pi, right? I've got to be careful with how these are defined. The book says 4r over 3 pi, but that assumes that the origin is at the bottom of the semicircle. And it's not. The origin is down here, so I have to, I have to shift it up, right? This is a vertical shift of a distance h. And then the volume then is going to be equal to 2 pi times y bar, but I'm using this y bar right there. That's because I'm, I'm rotating at that distance, right? It's, it's going from, from up here all the way around. And the shape I'm making is basically a ring. So imagine a ring that would go on your finger. The inside of the surface of the ring is a smooth, semi -cir uh, smooth circle. And then the outside is a semicircle wrapped around. Okay, so that's going to be the shape of this ring. Right? That's going to be the shape of that ring. All right, so h plus 4r over 3 pi, that's the y bar, and then the area. And the area of this semicircle is pi r squared, but then over 2 because it's a semicircle, right? So then pi r squared over 2. And that's going to be the volume of the ring. Okay, so I created this ring out of this semicircle, Right, like a ring that you put on your finger, and I've created that ring, and this would be the volume of that ring. Right? Not, not inside the ring, just the volume of the metal that's created that ring if I'm if I'm forming this out of a metallic, um, a metallic semicircle. Okay? So that would be the volume here. I need to put numbers in, I'm not gonna bother doing that. But that would be the volume of that semi of that ring created by the semicircle. Okay? All right. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.